Hey everybody, welcome back to kit number three. And in today's episode, we're going to be building a villager breeding system that is for the new 1.8 snapshot that takes the new 1.8 villagers breeding into consideration that they have to either interact with each other by trading or be traded with by us as the user. But we're gonna take that these guys are gonna trade with each other, make some love, and make some babies. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So let's go ahead and build this. So the, we're gonna start with the redstone part of this, obviously. The redstone part is actually pretty compact. We only need a three by five little area per side. Uh, but overall, this thing isn't too bad in size, but let's get started with it. So we're gonna start off with the bud switch part of of detecting when there's a crop there so put a red uh sticky piston right there on a redstone block now we need to leave a spot here for this block to be pushed into so we're going to put a repeater with redstone put some blocks up with another redstone repeater this repeater then is going to go into a block that has a redstone torch on it and then this torch is going to power this line to do the bud switchiness stuff so then we're going to have a, another block there with the redstone torch here with the block on top of that redstone torch and also on the side of it. Now we also want to put some redstone right on that side and that side of here. Now we want to put the dispenser underneath here. So that is actually all, all the redstone that goes into this contraption. So let me show you guys real quick what it does. If we go ahead, take some carrots and some, a hoe, put the hoe down. Let's put some bone mill in here. We do that, and then we put a carrot down there. It's going to burn out that torch and grow the carrots. So that's all to do with the redstone. Now we'll get the villagers in there and show you this thing working. Also, a quick little side note. When you're building this contraption, you might activate this bud switch by accidentally placing blocks on it like this. If that ends up happening, just place the block that you want it to, and if it's in the wrong state like it is now, you want to just lay down a carrot and break it real quick so that you update the black the block fast enough so that this doesn't react to it. So here I replicated this on to both sides so we can have two villagers. Now there's two ways to get the cobblestone wall to be here with the glass pane and the villagers to be sitting on the edge. The way I prefer is to make make your contraption that you want to house it in and then put a block here where the villagers the baby villagers will fall i like putting a block there and then you would get your villagers push them into here like so and then oh no 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 you might you might have to you might have to hit them a little bit but i put the cobblestone wall in first and then yep you go over you go over no please don't there you go yep you go over so then you get them both over like so, and then put them in. Go, go, go. Come on. Go. There you go. And then you put the glass pane there, and then close off your contraption like so. And then, well, you're gonna have to break this. You're gonna have to break this block first. But that keeps them right there, as you can see. So now, if we go ahead, put those there. We should put bone mill in each of these. And that will get our system going like we want it to. So we show you guys it working real quick. T that's tilled. Carrot. Carrot. Fills them up. And they're going to be trading. Now another thing to realize with villager, with this, with this sort of villager trading too. Is that these villagers have to be of this type. They can be the Fletcher. I believe the Fisherman. Uh, and then also the farmer, but they have to have the brown coat jacket looking things to be able to harvest crops and To be able to breed in this system now eventually these things will be all happy and then they will eventually breed and Finally one thing that I forgot to say is it's nice to put a Hopper down here because they do tend to miss a lot with the carrots and it's nice to be able to catch them just in case if you want them so that you can Start the whole process over if they ever end up running out of carrots or something weird ends up happening. So it's always nice to have a little hopper down here. And I have my hopper four blocks below there just, just for the fun of it. 
And then the final thing in this build is we have to have doors somewhere. So really anywhere you want to place your doors, it just has to be within the vicinity of here. Uh, you know, being, <laughs> you need nine doors. So simply having five doors over here and putting another four over here like so will suffice. It just has to, there has to be nine doors in the vicinity. You can hide them under here if you want. You can put, you know, a three by three little area right down here really you could uh, just you know so that they're like not taking up any other weird area just put you know you put nine doors right there whatever you just have to have nine doors in the area so that these things will breed so now let's actually explain this thing a little bit so one thing some of you guys might be thinking those don't go there but those are there just so that this thing doesn't go off while I'm explaining things. So I just put a torch there. If you ever want to turn them off, you can put torches right there. So let's explain what a bud switch is a little bit. So if we just, let's just take a little bit of space out here. Now a bud switch is going to be, let's say we have a piston right there, right? A bud switch is whenever you power the block diagonal to it. And so let me show you. We, what, are we, what are we doing using those blocks? That's not our block. So we power the block diagonal to it so like here right we need our redstone <laughs> put our redstone we're now powering that block next to it so if we put a block anywhere around it in any of the adjacent blocks around it it's going to update it now if we then turn it off and then update it it's going to put it back so that's the basics of a bud switch uh real quick and that's what we use here if you remember this right here is a bud switch so let me show you guys. When this is on, now it's waiting to be updated, which that is what the carrots do. The carrots update this block so that, watch, when it's, when there's not an item there, it goes. So watch, watch this. Have him, come on. So if he were to take that, it's gonna, now this is powered off, he's gonna take it, exactly. So this line goes on and off depending on if this block is pushed, which is dependent on if there's crops right there or not. So that's what's going to cause this to update all the time and to constantly make this a bud switch is so that that this block extends, powers this, that unpowers this line, but then it powers it again once it retracts. So from there, then we take that... And we do this little, the burnout of the torch. Now, the burnout of the torch, I know some people don't like it, but it's the most compact thing I could think of to be able to dispense bone meal at a good enough rate and enough to grow the carrots. So that's what this is doing. This line deactivates, activates, deactivates, activates because this torch, when this torch deactivates, or when this line deactivates, this torch turns on, but that torch powers this block which then turns this back on, which then turns this off, turns this off, and it's just, it's a circle. And then we just have this redstone detecting the state of this block right here to be on or off to then power and unpower the dispenser to dispense the bone meal. And then, like I said, you can place some redstone torches right here just to turn these off so that this system turns off. But that is the automated villager breeding system in a gist so i hope you guys enjoyed dream big